This guy is not a genius. Who are we talking about? Terrence Howard. What did I tell people? I said, you don't see white people following this. You only see gullible black people following this. One time, one is two. Now, then, I didn't know uh, that Terrence Howard had his own religion called Terryology. Oh, my God. People, I've been going in on Terrence. And a lot of people has been sent, but he telling some truth. Like a lot of people that really rock with me. I'm talking about people that feed my family. They fucking donate to me. People have been reaching out to me saying, Sanchez, you and Terrence need to be together. He's teaching what you teaching, brother. Why don't you work with the brother? And listen, it's been people that, that really rock with me telling me, bro, Terrence ain't no enemy. He's our ally. Chill, Sanchez. We, he's going to be an ally to us. And then I've even heard one person say, Terrence Howard know the earth is flat, but he just can't say it because, you know, for whatever reason, he in the big ass. If you can say one time one is two, you can say the earth is flat. Trust me. <laughs> one thing I want to point out, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to calm down. I'm not going to drag Terrence I'm going to speak my mind, I'm going to be open-minded, but I'm going to be respectful. Now, why am I going to do that? Just because I think Terrence is an agent, a distraction, and all that stuff, I'm realizing it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. And how I've been addressing this thing has been kind of divisive. Because I don't see Terrence as like a legitimate teacher in the community. But it ain't up to me. It's really up to all of y'all. And the masses have spoken. They said Sanchez, he's a teacher in the community. I can't do nothing about it. They take him serious. So with that being said, I got to do like I would do with any other YouTuber and try not to be divisive, right? Now, if you our direct ops, then fuck you, like Billy Carson and all that shit, black magic. <laughs> we can do what we want. But that my community is still 50-50 on Terrence. I still got a lot of people that fuck with me that saying, Sanchez, I rock with Terrence. So now I got to be mindful that probably 50% of my followers also like Terrence. So, so for me not to have them torn in between the two and being divisive and shit, it ain't what I'm doing, it's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to try not to name, call, and curse and get too worked up, but just be professional and teach and show the problems I got professionally. Because I think when I go in on them, that's what turn people and make it divisive. You know, so I'm going to just be more professional. But... What I'm going to do to start my join is I'm going to actually do a reaction and review to Penguin's video on Terrence. Let's start it now. I'm going to start this off with a review, 15-minute video review that's going to set the stage. And then I'll build on all of the things from here. And we will be beating and teaching, pulling up slides, all of that. Please like and share the video right now. It's going to be a good one today. Trust me. People are more gullible now than they ever have been in the history. Of People are more gullible now than they ever have been in the history of this species. That is just a fact. People are throwing away any level of thinking and rationality just to believe in the most outlandish garbage imaginable and just falling victim to every scam you could ever possibly drum up. Oh, Three yeah. days ago, the stupid man's genius, Terrence Howard, went on Joe Rogan's podcast and Joe Rogan only piped. You gotta love this guy. The stupid man's genius. God damn. <laughs> Yo, everybody hit the like and share button because they don't promote my channel with the algorithm, you know, 
It's not monetized. We don't get to get into the algorithm. If y'all don't like and share the video, it just won't go nowhere. It's really up to y'all to help me grow the community. So everyone like and share. Yeah, the poor man's, the, the stupid man's genius. This dude's funny. Fuck what you heard. To go, the stupid man's genius, Terrence Howard, went on Joe Rogan's podcast. And Joe Rogan only piped up for 13 minutes out of this three-hour Arkham Asylum debriefing. That's the he, 13 minutes worth of speaking from Rogan here. The rest was Terrence Howard brainwashing idiots into thinking that he's some kind of enlightened genius. For almost a decade now, Terrence Howard has gone on this international mission to convince the world that teriology is the future. That's what he calls his logic language. Teriology. Let that just marinate in your noodles up here for a second. You're believing in a guy who's fucking preaching about teriology. So, there already exists so many people that have broken down everything Terrence Howard is wrong about in the mm -hmm. teriology logic language system. I'm just going to focus on his biggest one. One times one equals two. That is something that he has built his- Somebody said penguins- penguins- have this flat earth very hard. He got so many videos, you know what? I might need to just review his flat earth video on flat power. Yeah, fuck him if he dissing flat earth now, nigga. I'm, I can turn on you like that when they come to this flat earth shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck you if you dissing flat earth. We ops now, nigga. Somebody said drop the link. Uh, Nemesis, at the end of this, if we have time, I'll drop the link. And I think we will more than likely have time to open up the call, so don't worry, we will drop it. His entire fucking identity. Yeah, so like I said, Penguins ain't a genius. He's just real on most topics, but he your average American. He ain't questioning really shit. But he's doing, he, he, but one thing about him, you can't scam him unless you NASA. Then you can tell him he live on a fucking ball that's spinning. But... I expect most people to be globe earthers. And with a channel like his, I, I don't put it past that he diss flat earth because he think he's right, but he's programmed. He still got a lot of shit that he say that's real, but I can't fuck with you when you start dissing flat earth. But let's just hear this out though. Uh, like I said, this is your regular average American though. They just got the regular education system we grew up in. They, you know what I'm saying? So, times one equals two. That is something that he has built as an. Let me let me put this. Here. Just marinate in your noodles up here for a second. You're believing in a guy who's fucking preaching about teriology. So there already exists so many people that have broken down everything Terrence Howard is wrong about in the teriology logic language system. I'm just going to focus on his biggest one. One times one equals two. That is something that he has built his entire fucking identity around when it comes to his math. And for the first nine years of this one man traveling circus, everyone laughed at him because it's so outrageous. If we followed teriology, cars, phones, planes, medicine, literally everything that keeping, is keeping you alive right now would not exist because his logic language is fundamentally wrong. It's not up for interpretation, he is provably wrong in every possible measurement. And I want to dive into this deeply because so many people are thinking that he is correct. They are throating his cock and balls, literally slobbering all over his meat because he went on Rogan and used words they didn't understand. So since they didn't understand the words, they took it as a sign that this guy is the fucking chosen one when it comes to math. I'm not even mad at Terrence Howard. I want to make that clear. I'm mad that a lot of people think Terrence Howard is right. I'm more mad at the gullibility of people to just take this at face value without doing mm -hmm. any level of thinking for themselves. It's so yeah. easy now for people to just throw away their own thoughts and just let people tell them what they should believe and they're like, yep, that sounds right. I want to believe in that, so I will. It's so fucking frustrating because that sets us so far back. Now before I even dive deep into this rabbit hole, I want to tackle his biggest one that he has always put on the boxing gloves and fought for the honor of which is 1 times 1 equaling 2. He even made his own YouTube video here explaining how 1 times 1 equals 2, and admittedly, if you set aside everything that he's wrong about, 
He's still fucking wrong. He doesn't even come close to accidentally tickling something correct. He is fishing around in the dark looking for a urinal to piss on, but he keeps pissing on the floor because he can't find it. He doesn't- <laughs> Yo. Yo, man. I'm not gonna lie, he's really going in on this nigga, bro. <laughs> Decided to just turn the lights on. He wants to live in this absolute, like, void <laughs> of logic. I am going to demonstrate why one times one can never equal two. A third grader could do this. And I'm yeah. going to break it down in a way that no matter how stupid you are, and no matter how much you want to believe in this concept, it can't work. In no dimension in the multiverse could this ever be a real possibility. So when you're saying times, when you're using multiplication here, you're talking about the groups of something. So one group of one is one. But let's get more physical with it. And I'm going to do it using a physical object here. We're going to get real, you know, kinetic with it. And I'm going to use the GamerSup's Moist Waifu Cup. So this is me on the cup, big titty anime girl. It's available at GamerSups.gg. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's available for the next two weeks. This just seemed like a natural segue into mentioning that while I demonstrate this. Now let's put this concept into practice in a real world mm -hmm. scenario. You catch me at the grocery store, you say, Pardon me, Charles, looking extraordinarily breedable as ever today. I have this box of moist GamerSup's waifu cups. Come take a peek. And I march on over and I say, By Jove, look at that. There is a single moist waifu shaker cup in that box. There is one box with one moist GamerSup's cup in it. Come on! One box with one cup. I pick that up, I would have one shaker cup. One times one equals one. That, that is so simple. I know he watched my video for this shit, but maybe I'm just too big headed. But like, this is literally what I did. Like, come on, teach him, bro, teach him. That's just how it works. There's not any scenario where all of a sudden this waifu shaker cup is gonna start budding like it's fucking SpongeBob and I'll end up with two somehow. That's not how it works. I have one box that has one cup in it. You come up to me again, this time it's at a Sam Ash music store, I'm fucking blowing away at a trumpet. You say, Charles, check out these moist uh, gamer subs waifu shaker cups I have in these boxes. I say, oh, how many cups are per box? You say, there's two waifu shaker cups in these boxes, and I have two boxes. Two boxes of two waifu shaker cups, that's four total waifu shaker cups. Two times two. It's... Like, this shouldn't be a hard thing for people to grasp. These aren't hard to understand. But when you have someone like Terrence Howard preaching just completely incorrect things, it's able to mislead people who want to believe in something different. That want to have this big paradigm shift in mathematics. Which I don't really get. Why do you want mathematics to change? The only reason you're alive right now is because of that. You would have likely already been mauled by a bear, died from an infection, died from dysentery, wouldn't have made it past the Oregon Trail. Like, way before you even made it to whatever your current age is. If we didn't have math. We wouldn't be where we are today. You wouldn't be watching this. You would likely be out there hunting and gathering. It's about to get even deep, man. Buckle up, bro, if you think he's going in now. He reveals some things about Terrence that I didn't even know. Let's watch. ...and probably dying in the process. There is nothing that changes about this kind of concept when it comes to math. Now, it's important to note, I'm not a mathematician. That's something Terrence Howard and I have in common. But I think if I was a mathematician, most of you would trust me less. You'd think I'd been indoctrinated by big math or something to keep the genius revolutionaries like Terrence Howard down when it comes to these innovative concepts of... And I don't get how they can do that with Terrence, but not Flat Earth. Like, this one man is challenging all the mathematicians and accountants in the world. And even challenging your third grade education. Telling you all of us wrong. And no one say, hey man, you think everybody in the world lying and you just got the truth. They'll tell the Flat Earthers that. So everybody lying. And the earth is flat, so NASA line, a nail name, I'd be like, yeah, all of them line. Space is not a profession. It's a theology. So we got a very, like, on our behalf, you know that we're on to something. It ain't just no dumb shit. It's people like Terrence that make the world not take us serious. You see what I'm saying? new math no an actual child could prove why one times one will always equal one 
And, and this is why you don't see no other race entertaining this but black folks. We will be America's dummies. All they got to do is put the face of a black man on it and the black people going to eat it up. So whenever you want black folks to do some dumb shit, you just get some black celebrity to come out with it. And, and think about it. Tamarit's going to only go to black platforms, black areas, Uganda, but it ain't going to fucking Asia and fuck the Chinese people will laugh at you talking about one time. You ain't going to tell that to the geniuses. You got to go to the dummies with this new religion, the desperate and the poor folks. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And never to. It, it doesn't take a genius to prove that Terrence Howard is wrong. It takes an ordinary person using their own brain a little bit. And Terrence Howard is hoping that you're not one of those people that think for themselves. Yep. For some reason, we've entered the age where people don't trust experts anymore. The individuals that have dedicated their lives to a certain subject like math now have... But the thing about math is you don't even have to trust the experts to know that if I give you $1 one time, you got $1. If I got $1 in one box, then you got $1. One time, one is one. You don't have to be an expert to know that. You just got to be a fucking third grader. <laughs> so I wouldn't even give him the we don't trust the experts card. We should give that to people who battling against the medical mafia. And we should hear them out. Because for the most part, most Americans do feel iffy about medicine. Even if you a globe head. To some degree, we all have a conspiracy with the medical mafia and stuff like that. Like, we more likely to all agree on that. My thing is, that requires us to trust the experts from what we putting in our body. That's literally built on trust. Because I don't know nothing about medicine. I don't even know how my own body works because I'm not a professional in human biology. None of us are experts. So some things we just got to trust that, hey, the expert told me to take this medicine and I'll be good. We got to trust them. Math ain't one of those. Math is universal. You know, if I, if you, if I give you $1 two times, you got $2 whether I trust the experts or not. This ain't really a trust thing. It just is what it is. With math, you know, when it comes to math. Have the most scrutiny from the average ordinary person thinking that they're wrong and evil. There must be like a puppet master behind the scenes controlling the experts. Instead, I am going to talk about things that I agree with him with to uh, whoever that is in the chat room. I think somebody said. Yeah, don't go nowhere. Drop a one if y'all can hear me right now. Normally it buffers for like five seconds and we be good. Now my shit don't supposed to be buffering because I got a wired connection and I got the most expensive Ethernet card. I got uh, all of the good stuff. So we know that this is an attack. Why? Because my numbers was at 1500 and they had to knock them back down. See, her son Campbell is another dude that brings this up all the time. Now look at how my numbers just went from 1300 to 1600. It ain't even normal. You see what I'm saying? It lets you know that they plan around. I wouldn't be surprised if 2500 to 3000 people watching us right now. They not going to show it. We probably got 3000 people watching. But they fucking with the numbers, y'all. If my numbers go to 2,000, we're going to buffer. I want y'all to peep game, right? Peep how the numbers go up and then the buffering start. But I'm going to keep with the... Let's keep reviewing the video because we back on, man. I don't want to waste your time. Got a lot to unpack, so let's get back to it. The average person would rather put their faith in someone that has never studied math and never done anything properly in the subject that they're preaching about. We was just at 1,600. You mean to tell me 300 people just logged off in one second? 
Look at the viewers now, y'all. We just was finna, we was at 1,600. Now we at 1,300. That don't even make sense. Let's go. Like Terrence Howard. He has dedicated his life to being wrong. Meanwhile, the experts that just get fucking torched by people that don't understand math have an entire history of inventions to show for it that these- That's why I tell y'all, like and share, like and share, like and share the video. These people are literally using to criticize them. These inventions- And y'all don't listen to me because look how many likes we got, man. Inventions that they take for granted is the product of that math. Not Terrence Howard's teriology math. If teriology was the correct mathematics, where are those drones that he was talking about for Uganda? Where is all of the potential huge breakthroughs using teriology? Where are those inventions? Now, over a year ago, I did make a video on Terrence Howard going over some of his more ridiculous and embarrassing moments. I'm not going to really harp on those here because a lot of people went from Joe Rogan to that video and said that I was just attacking him on like a personal level or something, which I really wasn't. I was just explaining why a lot of this is so silly and I was making fun of it. As everyone used to do back when we used to think for ourselves instead of just be spoon fed all of our opinions. So what I did talk about in that video is something I'm going to briefly mention though. He tried to scam all of Uganda by promising them these drones that literally just don't work. I'm just going here go the part that ought to make y'all mad. Here go the part right now. What Terrence Howard did in Uganda was a scam. Oh, yeah, man. They just took me down. We was damn near about to be at 1,700. They just knocked me down to 1,100. People don't leave like that. That's them trying to hide. See, this is what YouTube do. The number that you see right there on the screen is... It ain't what's reflecting on how many people really watching me. See, it's really about 3,000 people watching this stream. But YouTube is using their shit to knock the numbers down so it won't look, so we won't look as big as we are. You see what I'm saying? That's what they doing. And they will knock a nigga numbers up who ain't that big. It ain't fair. It'll have a small channel doing big numbers. And after the video, won't be no comments. You know it was just like weird, like that don't match. So they play with stuff like that, and it be glitches. And we see the glitches, because you will see, okay, this man numbers just went from 1,700 to 1,100 in one second. And you know that people don't behave like that, but computers do, right? to do back when we used to think for ourselves instead of just be spoon-fed all of our opinions. So, what I did talk about in that video is something I'm going to briefly mention though. He tried to scam all of Uganda by promising them these drones that literally just don't work. I'm just going to play you a clip from that again to remind you that Terrence Howard uses this math in pretty nefarious ways from time to time, like in the case with Uganda drones from the hydrogen proton geometry. I was there for two years until I saw that there was an inconsistency with the math there. And so I went out to explore a new way of understanding how the universe worked, and I was able to define. See, the new, and this is what I'm going to go into, because a lot of people is saying, Sanchez, y'all on the same team, y'all talk about the same thing. Stay with me. I told you, if you support Terrence Howard, you don't got to worry about me cussing them out and doing all that no more because I don't want to be divisive. And I'm going to make an atmosphere to where if you rock with Terrence Howard, you can come up here and speak without getting chastised. I don't want to be divisive. However, I do want y'all to keep it real, man, with me. People saying, Sanchez, he teaching what you teaching. That's why I don't like him. That's why he's my enemy. Because he's teaching what I'm teaching while dissing Flat Earth. When everything I'm teaching is proven with Flat Earth. The man said he's looking at another way of seeing how the universe works. And he bringing up Nikola Tesla. He's dealing with Tesla uh, knowledge. That's why people saying we saying the same thing. Because both of us basically stealing from Nikola Tesla if you want to know the truth. When he's talking about light frequency vibration, that's not him, it's Tesla. He just don't want to give credit. Terrence Howard making it all about him. I could have did what he did. I could have made it like everything I'm teaching was my shit. But no, I'm telling people when I make collages like this, 
I give credit. Look, I make collages like this because I don't want the clout. I put the name on the picture of the person you need to give the clout to. So I will have different ancestral concepts on a collage and I will show you where I get it from. Not like I'm some genius, some God. I will say, hey, I learned this from the ancestors. Terrence is saying that the ancestors were wrong. You got some nerve and y'all think I'm going to be cool with him. You think Sanchez going to be cool with a nigga that said the ancestors was wrong when I built my whole career off proving that we wrong and the ancestors was right? People said, Sanchez, we don't see your beef with Terrence. Y'all saying the same thing. I'm trying to show you my beef with him without being disrespectful without cussing him out and getting bent all out of shape and without being mad at people who want to support him. If you want to support him, fine. We can still be friends because what I'm finding out is a lot of people saying, Sanchez, I rock with both of y'all and I don't like how you making me have to choose. So I'm, go I'm not going to be divisive. I'm not going to put it like you got to choose, but to I'm not going to. How am I going to avoid that? By being respectful. Because people feel like they got to pick a side when you go to getting turned up and all that like it's personal. It's not personal. It's just a simple beef. I stand for the ancestors and he don't. He's saying everything I'm saying, which is flat earth introduces us to a, a new way to look at how the universe work. But what Terrence Howard doing, he got everybody looking at the universe the same way. A globe spinning through space, at, at, at rotating at a thousand. How are we looking at the universe different? He's co-opting our mission, y'all. He's co-opting our mission. It is the flat earthers are the only people on earth that got a valid alternative explanation for how the universe work. And guess what that explanation is? That the earth is a gigantic Tesla coil. Check it out. Not only is Sanchez saying that Nikola Tesla was able to create this Tesla coil because he was studying Hindu cosmology. They don't want y'all studying ancient cosmology because that will give us the knowledge that Tesla had. When Tesla wrapped the copper coil around the pole, they taught a story about the serpent being wrapped around the tree. The serpent wrapped around the tree was science of how to turn the lights on, let there be light. That's why when you read Genesis with the book with the serpent wrapped around the tree, it start with what? Let there be light. The serpent was the sine wave, which is what? Electricity. The first God of Christianity held a lightning bolt in his hand. If you think the universe was created 10,000 years ago when the Bible was made, you stupid. So when they said, let there be light, they weren't talking about the sun. They was talking about man making light bulbs. <laughs> and you can, and I hit the laugh button, but ain't nothing funny about that. That's the truth. There is no beginning to the earth, to the universe. It's always been here and always will be. Ain't no beginning or end to it. The beginning and end only lies in man's awakening. There's a beginning and an end to us knowing thyself. There is a time on earth where everybody know the truth. There's a time when that ends and everybody go into darkness and ignorance. And only a few people know the truth and they rule over us with it. Then that age go away and the truth becomes universal again. The Mayans spoke about this. They call it the shifts between the dark age and light age. There's a portal in the sky, people. 
And that portal that we call Polaris, it's contracting and expanding like a female vagina. And when it expands, it allows more light to come in and they call that the light age and everybody is woke. But when that thing is closing up, as above, so below, the collective third eye is closing up. Our third eye is directly connected to the sky vault. When it opens up, societies open their minds up. They build utopias on this earth. But when the portal closes, the minds of the masses closes. And they go into ignorance and twerking and dark age and just shallow bullshit. The Mayan said this is what the natural cycles are on earth. You don't got to be bound to those cycles. Because during the dark age or the light age, there are beings of light and darkness working their light and darkness. That means if I'm a being of light, I'm still going to shine during the dark age like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Sanchez cocinando. That means if I'm not bound to time, then the ages don't dictate my behavior. Did you hear what I just said? You need to think about that because Terrence Howard will never get this deep. Your ages dictate your behavior. When you was one, you acted a certain way. When you was 10, you acted a certain way. When you was a teenager, you acted a certain way. For some reason, people who are trapped in the matrix of time, our ages dictate our behavior. Why? Because we control by time. When you wake up and you get outside of the realm of time, your behavior won't be dictated by your ages nor the ages that cycle in between the earth times. You will be free from time, period. Meaning, timeless beings who have graduated beyond the human experience, they're, it, they're not separated by knowledge because of ages. If there was a 10-year-old boy that died, he knows the same amount of knowledge that an 80 year old man who died knows when they get into the spiritual realm. There is no separation of knowledge among ages in the spiritual realm. A seven year old know just what a 200 year old person know. A 50 year old know what a 12 year old know. There is no division at all in the spiritual realm. So, once we get on the other side, all things will be revealed no matter how old you was when you died. You could have died at 12 years old. Once you cross over and get the knowledge of the spiritual realm, you know more than the person that's living who ate it. Yeah, it's a 13-year-old spirit on the other side that's smarter than all of you humans on this earth. A 13 year old, see, but are they 13 years old? No, they body was 13 when it died. But the soul that left that 13 year old body ain't separate. It's the same age as every other soul that died. Ain't no age to the soul. So if a fucking person died that was 70, they the same age as that person who died that was 10. The soul ain't bound to aging and time. And because of that, knowledge isn't separated by growth cycles in the spiritual realm. So I'm going into all that to say, because our ancestors were spiritual creatures, they developed the, that spiritual system on the earth as above, so below. And they created a utopia, an advanced world, where children knew the same thing as adults and vice versa. They found a way to hack the mind. Now, Terrence Howard is saying that our ancestors didn't know what they was talking about because they were wrong about the flower of life and they were wrong about the shape of the earth. Well, don't you know that this Tesla coil is the flower of life? Yeah. Yeah. The Tesla call is the flower of life. This collage should show you that. 
The flower of life is also the Big Bang. It's a flower because it blooms. Now take the L off a of bloom and where do you get one of these? Boom. See, everything in our world is an explosion of energy. Everything in manifestation right now is a result of energy expanding. And to show you what I'm talking about, stand by real quick. Let me pull this next slide up. Here it is. You can't have the Big Bang without Flat Earth. The ancestors were the ones who taught us the original concept of the Big Bang with their ancestral cosmology. To say that they were wrong about the flower of life when our universe is really a big old flower. Like that's all a tree is. A tree is a huge flower and a flower is a nano tree a small tree the universe is creating in scales you see what i'm saying it's making the same thing on different scales so the human being is a tree too in our own dimensional scale of reality and then these trees will get smaller and smaller and even bigger and bigger there are many universes and each universe is basically a tree. So in the Asian culture, we have Buddha falling asleep under a tree. They turned that into the Matrix movie. All of these old mythologies is telling us about the soul's journey inside the flesh or the spirit's journey inside the simulation. Let's talk about Buddha for one second. And then we're going to talk about the Anunnaki and all that. Why was Buddha asleep under a tree? Well, in the Matrix movie, they show you that. Here is the tree. That's your Babel Tower. So we're in a simulation, which is an expanding universe, and there's only one shape it can be. That's a flat earth enclosed in a canopy. What I'm saying ain't a matter of belief. It's a fact. If our universe is the result of a big bang or a huge explosion, then explosions only make one pattern, and that's flat earth. Look at the big bang in this image, y'all. It don't matter how you smash something apart or blow it up, it's gonna tell my truth, which is that the earth is flat. I don't have to just speak for myself. Yeah, they got more numbers than us in the world, but we have the elements on our side. I want you flat earthers to listen to what I'm saying whenever you get discouraged. They have the media on their side. They got the, 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 the mafia on their side taking away our freedom of speech. They got a lot going for them. They got the whole world on their side. But I want y'all to realize there are more dead people than living people. Sanchez here to tell you that you got the dad on your side. Sanchez here to tell you we outnumber them. Y'all looking at it different. Sanchez here to tell you we got the dead on our side. Sanchez here to tell you every compass on the earth is on your side. Every compass on the earth is pointing to the north. Guess who else pointing to the north? Flat earthers. Don't forget who else on your side. You got equipment on your side, instruments on you. It's telling what you saying. You got the elements on your side. The water, the wind, the fire. It's telling them the earth flat. They won't listen just like they won't listen to you. Don't for, never forget what team you on. Sometimes we can feel outnumbered. But nigga, you just can't see all of our help because our help go beyond the physical spectrum. Like Tesla said, think in terms of vibration and energy. We got the energy of Mother Earth on our side. Why? Because we got the story right. Because we got the story right. 
If we had the story wrong, we would need the machine on our side. They got a sense of you because you got the story right. Come on. Bro Sanchez, you got the story right. And now I see yeah. Talking about some Big Bang. A Big Bang don't make the kind of universe that you talking about. Show me an explosion and I'll show you a flat earth. Talking about some my ancestors was wrong. You got some nerve. Now, I told the people I'm going to take it easy on Terrence Howard because I really want to be cussing them the fuck out while I do this. But I see it's too many of my people that fuck with him. Y'all lucky that I got that some of my people is falling for y'all bullshit and I love my people. And I will go over there and do what I got to do to get my people up out y'all bullshit and pull them back over here to flat power, nigga. I'm only dealing with this because y'all got my people distracted and tied up with this shit, nigga. And we ain't got enough numbers to be looking at what Terrence Howard doing. And then you need to realize if you fucking with the flat earth, he's your enemy. He going against the flat earth and the ancestors. But let, let me not get too far into my tangent here. We supposed to be reviewing a video while we do this. So let me, cause I think if I do all of this, it'll be good for y'all. Cause give you a video review reaction, teach something with the collages, open up the call, basically taking all of the dynamics and putting them in this one show. But like I said, Terrence wrong. I'm right. And the ancestors are right. And Terrence is the one wrong. And the, all of these mathematicians in the world ain't wrong either. I can use math to prove the earth is flat. So the math ain't wrong. Now the thing about it is this. If Terrence Howard subscribed to the Big Bang Theory, which he does, then guess what? There's no other shape of our universe. The earth is the entire universe. So the image that I'm showing in the top right corner that's a Hebrew conception of the universe. Our, we're inside of the universe right now, but we're walking on the earth. Okay? The earth is one particular section inside the universe. So you don't leave the earth to explore the universe. You came to the earth as a spirit to explore the universe. Does that make sense, y'all? Drop a one if that do. Drop the one if that do. We are astronauts exploring different planes of existence and we're being blasted off in a rocket called a penis and then we end up in a shuttle or a mothership called a fetal bag and then we step out of the shuttle and we walk around a new planet called Earth the shuttle was our mama. We're born out of her. We walk out the mothership, out the shuttle capsule, and then we explore Earth. You don't lead the Earth to explore the universe. When you realize what we are and why we came here in the first place, we were already exploring the universe. We forgot what we were as astral travelers. It's so much deeper than what Terrence Howard is teaching, and they can't have y'all tap into what I'm teaching. So they got to have this guy, which is a direct way to silence this movement. It's growing too fast without their help. You got to think about this. These people got agents out there that go live with the machine behind them, and they struggle to, ha to have 1K people watching them. The machine is censoring me, taking my numbers down, targeting my shit, and I'm still getting more views than the minions 
that the machine is pushing. Pushing. It don't make no sense. I'm going to show y'all some. When Billy Carson go live, he don't have but 500 people watching. Sometime 400, 700. I'd be like, how this man got a million subs and he don't got a minimum of 1K people watching? But I do. I do. The math ain't mathin', y'all, just like Terrence Howard shit ain't mathin'. These niggas is part of the machine. Now, let's go. Let's see how Terrence Howard uh, scammed you gonna. Everybody promoting this man. This man scammed you gonna. Let's go. He went all his ass over there to Uganda and scammed them people. Let's go. Let's go. What I did talk about in that video is something I'm going to briefly mention, though. He tried to scam all of Uganda by promising them these drones that literally just don't work. I'm just going to mm -hmm. play you a clip from that again to remind you that Terrence Howard uses this math in pretty nefarious ways from time to time, like in the case with Uganda drones from the hydrogen proton geometry. I was there for two years until I saw that there was an inconsistency with the math there. And so I went out to explore a new way of understanding how the universe work and I was able to define the grand unified field equation they've been looking for and put it into geometry. Once again, just a friendly re And I'm gonna tell you what I got a pro. So the grand unified field equation was created by a black man and he didn't give that man no credit, Gaga. The crazy thing about the black man who created Gaga they invited me to come to their school to learn it. Oh, my God. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. The people at Gagat contacted me themselves, and they wanted Sanchez to be a student at they shit, nigga. So, but let's go get back to the video, man. Pretty nefarious ways from time to time, like in the case with Uganda drones from the hydrogen proton geometry. I was there for two years until I saw that there was an inconsistency with the math there. And so I went out to explore a new way of understanding how the universe works, and I was able to.